Hey everybody, this is part six of creating a certificate authority infrastructure using Windows certificate services. So in this video, what I want to do is just go over how to create, quickly we'll go over how to create a, a certificate request. Here's the PowerShell to generate a cert. So I'm just going to do this test one dot Chris Eve dot lab. I'm going to sign that. Uh, you can see here, this is, this will create the inf file. And then what will happen is that file will be then run cert request on it and output to the path. And then that will have our request in it. Um, so we can call this, let's try this. Let's call this something else. Uh, so we could even call it, oh, you could sign anything with this as long as it, it's trusted. And, and just to show you that, actually this is just to demonstrate that, www.google.com. I could even sign google.com, right? Now, no one else will trust this because it's my personal ADCA, so you really couldn't, you wouldn't want to do this, but you could sign it like this. And this is actually, this is what happens with, uh, you know, certificate, when a certificate's, uh, a certificate interception or SSL interception is basically doing this. This is kind of, this is what it does. It, it, it intercepts it and then re-signs it by itself and you have to make sure you trust that. So, so this is this is kind of what goes on. So we'll create this. We'll create Google.com here. We're gonna write an in file. I'll run this right here. All right, it gave me an error. Uh, let's see. Can I just? Okay, so I'm going to need to disable that. Okay, so I think that's just like a set. Uh, here we go, set. Execution policy. Let's see what we want to do. Um... Scope, I think. No, is that execution policy? What is, what do I want to do here? Oh, execution policy. There we go. <laughs> and I want to, I'm just going to do unrestricted on here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right, so it's, did it still throw me an error? Write host, writ host. Okay, I've got a, yep. And it shouldn't matter there, but all that is is a saying, creating certificate. Um, let's see, we can tell, we can go in here. Here we go, google.com, CSR. So it created that setup information file and we can take a look at that. So this is the file it created, signature, new request, enhanced key usage, and extensions, which is gonna be the, the SAN. All right, so what we do then is we would take this Google CSR, let's copy this, and we're gonna copy it over right here to 190 to 10.170.10.102 .10 we'll just put it in here paste there it is csr is now on the ca server and what we can then do is go to our certificate authority right click all tasks submit new request Uh, 
Um, all files. Let's see. We should see that here. There it is. It's a CSR. So it's actually, it's looking for a certificate template. Interesting. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do, so I need a certificate template in here. So let me look at that error. Okay, I'm going to check out why that's happening. I think it's because I'm on a enterprise CA and it's looking for the template. One second. Okay, we're going to try this trick to get this working. Uh, so what we're supposed to do here is go to command, open a command prompt, run as a different user. We're going to run as administrator administrator okay that's open and now what we're going to do is let's first close that and we're going to so we know the name is chris eve dash web server so we're going to run this and this should bring up this and allow us to actually sign this. Let's do this. Let's try that. Okay. And what is this saying? This is giving us the, okay. Google.crt, we'll just call it that. There. So, Let's look at issued. Chris Eve administrator. Issued to google.com. You can see, right? Um, obviously, we are not google.com, but we can do that because anything that trusts us trusts whatever we say we are. So it really doesn't matter. So that's, that's the certificate. So with then what we're going to do is all tasks. Let's open it back up, go to details, copy it to file, next. I think we use base64, next. I think it already exported it actually, but I'm gonna do it again, because this is what I want. C, Google, Google certificate, dot CRT. So I'm gonna call that. And you can see export keys, no. Oh, that's okay. Because we don't have the key over here. Okay, and now we'll go here. I'll take this Google certificate. I'll go back over here actually, and bring that over. So here I am, Google certificate. Let's copy that. Just put it in temp right now. Paste it in. And what we can do then is go to, let's go to manage computer certificates. Okay, so this is the computer certificates. You can see we have that. So what I can do is all tasks, import, I'm going to import 
that certificate. So that should be in C temp. There it is. Next. And we'll put it in personal and finish. Okay, so now there should be a certificate here. And what you're going to notice about this certificate is, look at this, you see this right here. When we click on it, you have a private key. So we have the private key because we did the request from this machine. It put it in there. So now what we could do is we could say, copy to file, next. Yes, I want to export the private key because I want to give this to someone else. Then I keep that like that. That's fine. Next. And I could put a password on it. Let's put a Google. Next. And I give it a file name. C temp Google export. Finish. Okay, so that is how, and then you could give that file to someone, this Google export right here, personal information. That contains the private and the public key. So you could give that to someone, they can install it on a web server or any other type of server. And then if the, as long as the name's Google, you know, it will work. www.google.com. If you point your DNS there, that should work. Subject alternative name, google.com. So that's basically how I would create a, using PowerShell is how I would create a certificate request. Sign it over on here, over on the CA, and then bring it back and export it out of, out of the store on this server, on this computer, actually this Windows 10 server, uh, computer. So really a Windows 10 client. So I hope that's uh, been helpful and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.